Hey guys, Rachel and Gome here. So I recently learned how to do dark posts on Facebook and this is something that is going to revolutionize my business as well as yours as long as you can do them correctly. And I just wanted to show you really quickly one example before I go into the power editor. And this is one that I did yesterday, I think, um, two days ago. Just from one, I already have three people on this one ad that I'm forming with about coaching, and I have from another ad that I did about seven more people. And so that's like 10 people just from Facebook dark posts that I'm talking to about coaching. So that's pretty freaking cool. Um, and these are posts that are not even showing up on my wall or anything. They're um, sponsored posts through the news feed. And so when you're on Facebook, look at those dogs. Oh my gosh. You're going to go to the adverts manager. And we're going to go into the power editor. And just so you know, the power editor is a little overwhelming at first. This is something that you might want to go through a couple of times um, just to get a handle on it. I have two accounts for some reason. You probably only have one, but I just switched the accounts. And from there, you're going to click power editor up here. And so if you've already watched the previous videos, I've been kind of priming you for this. I showed you how to create audience insights already. I showed you how to create images in Canva already. And now it's kind of putting it all together. And so we're in the Power Editor. And here, all of the campaigns should show up. And so since all of my campaigns are not here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click download to power editor and you want to download to power editor every time you go into your account click your account and click download continue you want to do this every time you open up the power editor and sometimes the power editor can be a little crazy and if it is like it is right now you're gonna go up here at the right next to the help button to reset power editor so if you ever get stuck and it's spinning for whatever reason just reset it and I'm gonna download again here we go Looks like now it's working, hopefully. Okay, now that looks good. So these are all the ads that I have run. Some of them are active, some of them are inactive. Um, and so basically what you want to know, these three things here, I got lost in all of these. And so there are three different levels. You have the campaigns, you have the advert sets, and you have adverts. Okay, campaigns, adverts, that's adverts. Just so you know when you're going through your ads, that's what you're going to find. Um, and so you're going to start up here with create campaign. And so you can create a new one, coaching ad. And so with these dark posts, you could do it for coaches on your team. You could do it for running challenge groups. Um, Anything where you, those are the two that I do, or you could do it for like a sneak peek group if you want people to come near sneak peek. You're going to keep it right here at auction, and the objective is going to be page post engagement. All right, so you, you want to create campaign, create new coaching ad, auction, page post engagement. Now I'm going to click on choose an advert set, create new coaching ad. And then create new advert, coaching ad. And then down here, you're going to click create. And I'm still, I still consider myself a little bit of a newbie in here. I've been doing this for about a month. And so I'm not perfect, <laughs> but I'm going to do my best um, to help you out. All right. So I'm going to click on this little guy okay all right so what I'm going to do is in advert sets coaching ad I clicked on advert sets we were in campaigns 
So in advert sets, this is where you set your daily budget. And I usually start with three bucks for the daily budget. And so what happened was with that coaching ad that I just showed you over here, uh, I started with $3. And I wanted to test a bunch of them to see what was going to work. And for whatever reason, this image ended up doing really well. And so for this image, I increased the budget to $15. And so it's totally up to you on how much you want to spend. I recommend starting off small. And then if you have an ad that's working really well, you can increase it. And just keep in mind that you're going to get that money back. If I'm running a coaching ad and I'm talking to 10 people already from spending six bucks that I'm, if I sign up, let's say three people <laughs> from that, that's like $120, right? Um, so you will more than make your money back on doing this. Start schedule. All right. So I, again, I'm in the advert sets. I was up here in campaigns. I clicked on advert sets. I set the daily budget. I don't do anything with schedule start. And this is when um, we went through the audience insights in a previous video. And so if you have saved audience insights, you can do that. Um, people who like my page is one. Maybe I'll do fit moms and I'll see fit moms over $50,000. Okay, so they're in Canada and the US. I'm actually going to edit this because I learned that you do not want to do market both Canada and the U.S. You want to pick one. So I'm going to delete Canada and stick with the U.S. Sorry, Canadians. And so if you do not create an audience inside or right, that's totally fine. You would just go into edit audience. And this is where... Um, you can pick the audience that you want to target. It's kind of hard to do it from here though um, and to see exactly the pages that you want to target. So I recommend you go back and watch the video that I did on creating audience insights. Okay, I'm cool with that. Okay, so after I set the audience, I scroll down a little bit and I'm not sure about Instagram yet. So until I learn more about the Instagram ads, I'm going to take it off. And I'm also going to take off desktop right column because I've learned that that will it'll greatly increase the amount of money that you're spending on your ads. So I'm going to leave mobile news feed and desktop right column. Scroll down, optimize for advert, delivery type, we want it automatic, and that all looks good. All right, so I'm going to go down to the advert sets. So we went from campaigns to adverts, now we're in adverts sets. And now I click on my page. And so if you already created a post on your Facebook page, this is like boosting a post. If you already have a post that you want to use, you can use an existing post. I want to create an advert. And so I'm going to go back here. This text works really well. And so if you want this, I can send it to you. It's just a little bit about my story. 80 pounds down, financially free, I have total flexibility of schedule, blah, 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 blah. So I mean here, it would just be sharing your story. Obviously, if you know, in the beginning, it was, I can pay for our groceries. I can pay for my Shakeology. I lost 10 pounds, you know, sharing the journey. So share whatever journey you are on. Um, and then here, I'd like to share with you how this business can change your life. If you meet the following criteria, must be positive, must value health, must have a heart to help people. Um, I'm leading a free webinar tonight for anyone interested in learning more. No pressure, just valuable life changing information. Comment below. If you like to be added to the group. All right. So here is where, um, if you have not watched the video I did on making Canva images yet, you want to go back and do that. So this is where you select image. And I know that this image has performed really well. So I'm going to click confirm. And the preview should pop up. All right. So it's going to show up as a sponsored ad in the desktop newsfeed and mobile newsfeed. And so you can see exactly how it's going to look. So, 
All right, and I don't do anything with tracking pixels or anything like that. So all you're going to do now is go up here and click Duplicate. We're going to duplicate, keep same campaign. We're duplicating everything. So it's going to be the exact same text, the exact same targeting. All I'm going to do is change the image. I want to use this image. Confirm. And you'll see it update. All right, so that's the new image. I'm going to do it again. Duplicate. Keep same, keep same campaign. Same text. Change image. And so you can see, but the first time I did this ad, I tested 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 images. I made 12 different kind of images on Canva, and I found two that worked pretty well. And so I know that these two are going to work great. So I don't really need to do another one, but I will just for um, the sake of showing you this example. I'll use this one. Confirm. Okay. And so if you want to check it all out, you can go up here to campaign, coaching ad. Then you go down to advert sets. You see the daily budget. The potential reach is under a million. I'm targeting fit moms that make over $50,000. It's going to be mobile newsfeed, desktop newsfeed. And I'm optimizing for post engagement. And then I go back down here to adverts. And this is where you will see the text and the picture. And so the way that I have learned that is with ICT. And so at first, we're testing the image. So we want to see what image is going to work with the audience that you selected. And so I've learned that this image works. And so what I'm doing next is you can change the image, the copy. And so this would be considered the copy right here. And so I could change whatever is in here um, just to a different way of describing coaching and a different way of inviting. And then once I find the winning copy and the winning image with that, I would change the targeting. And so I would go in and create different audience insights. And so I, the one that worked really well is actually I'm targeting people that already like my page. Um, and so this one's working really well. I target wellness mamas. I target fit mamas. And so with Facebook ads, you can't just try one and see, get disappointed because it doesn't work. You can see in here how many, 203 different ads I have run. Isn't that kind of crazy? Um, and a lot of them have not worked at all. Some of them have. Most of them haven't. Um, so you just have to keep trying, keep trying, make different images, try different copy. And if you need help, please reach out to our team. We are here to support you. But play around with this. And when you're done with your ads, you're just going to click finish here, upload changes. Continue. And now it's uploading. And so now it's waiting um, to be approved. So that is using the Power Editor. This is some seriously powerful stuff. Powerful. If you practice, I've been practicing this, like I said, for over a month. So I would practice it. And the training that I did is with Jesse Reagan. I know he's coming out with, he's launching his training in January. If you want to dive in deep with this, I recommend doing his training. You know, what I'm giving you here is kind of on the surface. I'm trying to reteach what I've learned. Um, but if you really are serious about doing this, I would go directly to the source um, and do his training. If you want info on that, let me know. I hope this was helpful. If you have questions, reach out. Have a good one. Bye.